Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2024 Mutianang Dabao Evening Gang Competition. Mutia number 14. Mutia number 19. Mutia number 22. Mutia number 20. Mutia number 25. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for the first batch of semi-finalists. Let's proceed to the first batch of interview tonight. Now, each delegate tonight will be given 30 seconds to answer the question. And when you hear this, that means your time is up. Let's begin with our semi-finalist number one, Mutya number 14. Hello there. You have chosen question number four. Here it is. Davo has a strong political history. How can beauty queens like yourself be effective agents of social change even without holding political office? 
Mutyanang Dava has taught us to not only advocate for other people, but advocate for those in need. I, as a Mutya, uphold resilience and grace with different organizations that would help me fight for the different causes there is. And so, in little adversities and grace, may we uphold it to conquer Davao City. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's move on with semi-finalist number two, Mutya number 19. Can they pick a number? You have chosen question number one. Davo is known for its rich culture and vibrant festivals. How would you, as Mutya ng Davao, promote both the inner and outer beauty of Davaoenyo women to the world? As a Davaoenyo, we should promote the inner and outer beauty of women to the world by giving them a chance to be heard. Because here in Davao City, every person has the chance to have a voice, every person should be embraced, and every dream should be within reach. And that is why here in Davao City, we can promote women and all those who identify as women and even all Davaoenyos alike. And we can give them a chance to be heard in this world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moving on with semi-finalist number three, Mutya number 22. Can we pick a number that corresponds to the question prepared by the Executive Committee of Aron and Dabao? Question number seven. In the spirit of Bayanihan, or community spirit, describe a situation where you demonstrated strong teamwork of leadership to achieve a common goal. I think I was able to achieve that in a way that as a musician, I was able to put and promote leadership in all of my workmates and together we were able to create a beautiful music in order to make something out of um, out of out of the out of the beauty in music and promoting something that is beautiful. And with that, uh, I think that that is a bayanihan. Thank you very much. Let's move on. We put yacht number twenty. Oh, twenty. That is our semi-finalist number four. Take a question. Davao has a rich and complex history. Choose a significant historical figure or event from Davao's past and explain its importance to the city's identity today. With the history of Davao City, I believe one historical event that we should highlight and we should celebrate was when our Women Development Code was implemented in Davao City. It is because we have allowed women to take space in this city. We have allowed them to embrace their potential and skills. We have allowed them to celebrate our womanhood and because thank you thank you very much let's move on with the fifth finalist Mutya number 25 can they pick a number you have chosen question number five Part of Mutyan and Davao's role is to welcome both local and foreign visitors to Davao City. In, our, in your capacity, that is, how would you be able to invite others to visit our city despite travel advisory saying that Mindanao is an unsafe destination for tourists? 
Oh, prejudice, stereotyping, and discrimination are one of the major causes why we have this kind of notion that Mindanao is not really, or it is really scary. But for me, as a university professor, an architect, and a mother, I can promote Davao City in my colleagues that this city is not just a city, but it is a city that is full of a melting pot of cultures with different traditions. And as Davaoenos, we the locals represent Davao City, and we are the pride and happiness that what makes this Davao City all about a living life. Thank you. Thank you very much. You probably love that answer. And that ends our first batch of the Mutyaan and Davao semi-finalists. And that's the gown and the interview portion. Let's continue the competition with our second batch of delegates. If I can share for the holiday, addicted to betrayal, but you're relevant, you terrify. To look down Cause if you're there You see the day Everyone you burn just to get there It's coming back around And I keep my side of the street clean Mutia number 27 Mutia number 28. Mutia number three. Mutia number Mutia number 11. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, help me a big round of applause to our second batch of semi-finalists tonight. Now let's jump into the interview portion. 
Each delegate will pick a number that corresponds to the question prepared by, of course, the executive committee of the Aro ng Dabao. These ladies are given 30 seconds to answer the question, and when they hear this sound, that means time is up. Let's begin with our sixth semi-finalist, Butya number 27. Pick a question. Chosen question number two. Davao City is a champion of sustainable development. Which sustainable development goal or SDG resonates most with you and how would you as Botya ng Davao champion this cause in the community? The most relevant sustainable development goal is zero hunger. And as a Butyan ng Davao, this could be achieved through our personal advocacies, such as feeding, uh, feeding programs in the communities. And this is in collaboration with the city government of Davao and our individuals, especially our youth, because if we involve them, we could shape the future brightly. Thank you. Let's move on with our seventh semi-finalist, Butya number 28. Pick a question. You have chosen question number 11. Dava fosters strong relationships with other countries. How would you, as Butya ng Davao, represents Davao City in the international arena and promote cultural exchange. As an athlete, I believe that creating connections with other people, especially in the international stage, is really important because the culture and heritage that we have here is worth showcasing to the world and it is worth showing how beautiful it is in the Philippines, especially in Davao. And making these connections just show that our heritage is rich and making a change in the world that it will be, make a lasting impact. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's move on with uh, finalist number, uh, semi-finalist number eight, Mutya number three. Hi there. Take a question. Question number eight. Davao City is a hub for entrepreneurship. If you had the opportunity to start a business in Davao, what would it be and why? And how would you contribute to the city's economic growth? If I were to start a business in Davao, I would start a startup for films and for vlogs. This promotes the rich and talent of Davao City. We have a lot of spots here, and if we only show it to the world with the power of film and stories, then we can really reach higher heights in terms of ecotourism. If we harness the power of films, because people understand stories, not numbers, then we can connect to more people in an international stage. Thank you so much. Let's move on with our ninth semi-finalist, Butya number 29. Hi. You have chosen question number 13. Davao region is insurgency fee. I'll make that. Davao region is insurgency free. How can you help advocate for the sustainment of zero insurgency in the Davao region? Davao City is one of the flourishing multicultural cities in the Philippines. As your mutya, I will not create polarization, but rather unite people. In the midst of insurgency, what we can do is to embody love and share love to everyone else. If, you're in, if we are to embody love, then we'll be able to spread a word that insurgency should not exist and love should really arise. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Let's move on with our 10th semi-finalist, Mutya number 11. Number 15. The 20th City Council approved the annual budget of Davao City for 2024, totaling over 12 billion pesos. Which key area should city government focus on as its priority development project this year? As your Mutya bringing the advocacy that empowers education, I would allot the money to empower education and to provide resources and supplies that would greatly benefit our learners from our indigent communities, indigenous communities, children at risk, and children in conflict with the law. Because I always do believe that if we will invest in the future of our children, then we can foresee a brighter future, not just for one, but for everybody. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause to our second batch of semi-finalists for the Mutian and Davo 2024.